Hello everybody, Logan here with another video. Today, I got something cool to show you. So this is the 12 inch Flaming Pumpkin from Techie. That is another addition to the Flaming Pumpkin series that Techie, or the Flaming Burla Pumpkin series, sorry, that Techie introduced for Lowe's. Now this is, you know, like the large version and then there's a 14 inch, that's the extra large version. So this is when we're really hitting the big bucks. This guy was like, I'm pretty sure it was like $59.98, I think was the price. So he, w he was a pricier guy. Now, in my 10 inch Flaming Pumpkin video, I said that, oh, they weren't really as, you know, detailed. I take that back because this guy's got like, quite a bit of stitching. He's got like some on his chin, across the face, right here. And they actually just gave him random bits and bobs of stitches. And then he's got a lot more stitching around, like up here, which I think is really dope. Additionally, I'm actually kind of liking this one's face a little more. It's reminding me of something from my childhood. Now, I don't know if you all had the same childhood as me, but I was a Goosebumps kid. One of my favorite episodes from the TV series was, shockingly, The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. And this face kind of reminds me of the Scarecrows because they have these really gnarly, warped faces. And this is kind of what it reminds me of. I don't know, I might be completely off my rocker, but it just kind of gives me that vibe. So, I, I like this one quite a bit. I still like the 10 inch as well, but this one's like, I think my favorite right now. So, again, this one's a little pricier. I'm pretty sure he was like $50, $60. And then the 14 inch is 70. I know, I know how much is seven, the 10 inch, or the, I'm getting my inches mixed up. I know how much the 10 inch one is only because, or the 10 inch, Lord, the 14 inch was only because I was talking about it with a friend and because I got the, the rocking pumpkin and their prices are pretty similar. I think they're like the exact same. So like the seven inch that I reviewed yesterday, this guy has a really cool painted plastic here. You can see it better in the mouth. The camera doesn't pick it up very well, which is super annoying. You can kind of see it. Which gives it a added flaming effect and the plastic is also kind of warped to fit the these grooves. I don't know what you would call them on a pumpkin. I'm sure they have an actual technical name. And someone who's like really knowledgeable on pumpkins is like screaming like, You idiot! It's called blah blah blah! Which, I'm so sorry if I offended you. I will do it again. <laughs> so, what I actually really like about this one is the lid on the top is like all kind of cockeyed it's all like just screwed up and i like that so it's like slanted and it's kind of coming up here on the side i think it's a really cool detail that they did and adds a little more what would you say like just visual interest one complaint and i think i said the same thing on the 10 inch is that i wish they would open I wish they would have like opened this up so the flames also shine through the gap on the like the lids i think that would have been a lot cooler and maybe they'll do it on their next batch if they choose to continue this series which i totally think they should i actually like these more than the rotting pumpkins and i love those rotting pumpkins too i also like how this one in particular appears to be a lot more scorched than the other ones that I have reviewed. He's got a lot more like blackening around his mouth and his eyes and his nose. So he looks like he's definitely, you know, been smoldering for a hot minute. And again, they should have at least done that around the lid too, to hide kind of some of these awkward portions. I think that would have, I think that would have been really smart. So if they do bring this back, I don't really know if Techie really watches my videos, but if I could give any bit of constructive criticism, I would either open this up so the light shines through or I would blacken it 
to look like smoke's been billowing out of it and it hides this a little better and it adds more visual interest. That is what I personally would do. I think it would be hugely beneficial because this looks very like, this looks like it's had smoke billowing out of it and looks very scorched. So I think doing that along this top rim piece, like where it separates, I think that would be a lot better. I think that would look really dope. So they definitely add, added some more kind of lumpy portions on this one. Not as much as the the 10 inch, but they, it's still there. So you have kind of some of that some of those fabric-y folds here, which I really like to see. So he's not shaped like a perfect pumpkin. I really like that. The seven inch one I meant that I reviewed, I didn't remember, I didn't mention it, but he's shaped like a perfect pumpkin. But I like that these aren't. I like that they have kind of some folds here. And then, you know, the backs they are, but no one's really looking at the back. And speaking of the back, I like these random bits of stitches here. I know, like, again, no one's really going to look at the back, but, like, they added these cool little bits of detail, and I think that's really cool. What it almost makes it look like is this was made from, like, scrap burlap, basically. So, like, these are remnants from something else, and I think that's super neat. I, I like that they kind of gave it a little bit of character. I really want to see them do a life size that utilizes the burlap pumpkin heads. I think that would be so freaking awesome to see them do that. Like, because again, Techie does really good sculpted scarecrow heads, right? I've, I've given them so much high praise about their scarecrow heads. I think they look so awesome, right? So imagine if they took the burlap pumpkins and put it on a scarecrow character. I would be sold and it would be so cool to display it with these with the flame light in the like in the head as well. I think that'd be a really cool idea. And even for you like DIYers out there, you could totally fix one of these onto a prop head or onto a prop head, onto a prop body if you really wanted to. I'm not going to do that myself, but I definitely recommend if you like if you're like wicked makers level talented or hey, wicked makers if you're watching this totally do that that'd be super cool i would love to see that i mean you really just need to kind of relocate the wiring done here it's super simple the mechanism is literally just this turning mech with like this foily flame shaped bits and lights that shine on it that's how you get this illusion which is really cool but i mean people could do it and i would eat it up i would love it so much this is one that I do recommend higher as well, like a 10 inch. If you have the extra money, or even if you have a military discount, because I think they do have military discounts at Lowe's, go for it. This one's really cool. This one is one of my favorites. The 14 inch, I don't really love. I think there's just a lot going on there. And the seven inch, meh. But this one and the 10 inch are the two I recommend the highest. I think they're the two of the coolest ones that Techie has done in the series. And again, I really hope Techie continues doing these Burlap Pumpkin characters because it's kind of like the Rotting ones. The Rotting ones got better and better and better each time they did it. And I'm sure it'll be the same way with these if they keep, you know, pushing them out. So anyway, guys, that is all for me. Be sure to like, comment, and while you're at it, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.